good morning back at the track I have a day of acceleration complex uh, the complex itself is the skips for distance into the sled drag into the acceleration bounds um, so it's both a complex of acceleration and it's kind of a work capacity day when you have a complex set up like that we're gonna finish off the day with the stair jumps and then we'll hit up the weight room for the p.m. session um, for today though the focus is to really be intense on the skips um, and then add a little bit of weight to the sled since I'm inside I don't have that slight incline that I've been doing the acceleration bounds on so I'm gonna do it on a flat surface um, and we're gonna go 40 meters on those acceleration bounds so that's the setup for the AM session I'm gonna warm up doing some of the wall drills the marches the switches and then gonna get after it finish up the warm-up we're gonna get after it with the skips first so 30 meter skips rest two minutes 20 meter sled rest two minutes 40 meter acceleration bounce and then rest four minutes the skips I'm gonna take a 10 meter acceleration into that really try to get aggressive with these today the sled itself not sure how heavy it is but we're gonna add about five maybe ten kilos it's what we had in it last week and then the acceleration bounds will just be on a flat surface today so we have six rounds of that and then we go outside for six sets of jumping up the stairs
finished up the acceleration complex. I'm gonna go outside, do the six sets of stair jumps, um, take a little break for probably three hours or so, and then I'm gonna go hit the weight room. First thing I'm doing in the weight room today is I have the snatch EMOM, so one snatch pull into one power snatch. Following that up with front squats, uh, I'm gonna build to a three rep max and then do some drop sets after that of some doubles. And then the last thing that we have in the weight room today is feet up bench press. Uh, I believe it's four sets of four at 80%, which puts me, I think around like 135 or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, but that's gonna be the PM session. Hit up the jumps, and then right after that, we're getting straight into uh, our weight room. All right, first up for the afternoon session, 12 minute EMOM snatch, 105 kilos on the bar. Let's go. Been warming up for the front squat. I think I'm gonna play it a little conservative. Just, just did 170 for three, felt good. Um, with my back was being tight last week. I don't wanna push it too much, even though I'm supposed to do a three RM, so I'm gonna be a little conservative. I feel like I'd be in the 190 to 195 range if I was really gonna go for it today. But I'm gonna hit 180, see how that feels. That's probably gonna be my top set today and then I'll drop it down and do two sets of two. So we'll play it off, see how it goes, and we're gonna make it a game time decision. I really want to go for like 195, but I'm gonna play it safe. 180 felt good. A little bit of a struggle at the bottom. Uh, just have to really focus on bracing, but like the movement of it feels fine. I want to go for 195, but I'm gonna be smart and just call that a day. We're gonna drop down 10% and do two sets of two. Then we're gonna go hit the bench press four sets of four on 80%.
that's the session today. Overall, felt really good. Snatchy mom went well. Um, front squats went good. Played a conservative. I had a three rep max scheduled on the front squat today and then a couple drop sets. And as I was warming up, I thought I'd make it a game time decision on whether I was actually gonna do a full three rep attempt or kind of play it safe. I was warming up, hit 170 for four. Thought to myself, man, I probably have about 190, 195. So I did 180 for three, and then I decided to call it there. And my main reason was last week, my back was tightening up and give me a little bit of problems. This week felt fine throughout everything and I just didn't want to push it, possibly re-aggravate it and risk anything because when it's all said and done, it doesn't really matter what my three rep max is. Like as an athlete, I'm a sprinter first and I use weightlifting as a modality for creating more strength, more power, maintaining size, because in Bob's said obviously, weighing a certain amount is more beneficial. So, like, regardless if I did 180 for three, if I did 200 for three, like, it, it's cool to say one number over the other, but in reality, it only matters, like, what transfers over to the track and what makes me a better pusher. And right now, what makes me a better pusher is sprinting, being healthy, continuing to train and getting better in that way rather than risking injury trying to push yourself trying to get a new pr for something that really it doesn't mean anything if you were to ask me three years ago what i would have done today i probably would have went for 200 and just said fuck it and gone for it but i think with age and experience comes a little bit of wisdom and knowing that you know use the weight room for what it's worth and what you're gonna get out of it. And what I'm gonna get out of it right now is it's gonna help me be a better pusher. And that's the, the end goal is pushing a bobsled. So other than that, the uh, bench press went well. Four sets of four at 130. Um, one, the last set got a little heavy. Started to have to really push it on that, but overall went well. Um, I'm gonna finish up with some stretching, some recovery work. I'm gonna go hit up the sauna. And tomorrow, I only have one session, so it'll just be a quick uh, strength day, accessory work in the weight room. And then Saturday, we also have one session. Um, yesterday, didn't put a video up. I did the med ball circuit and some ab work. It's basically the same thing I did the week prior, so I didn't feel like it was necessary to kind of film anything and get it up. Um, so that med ball circuit, seven rounds, abs, Five sets of rolls, five sets of twist. Pretty much the same thing as last week. But again, appreciate you guys watching the videos, asking questions, dropping comments, liking the videos. It's awesome. We got more and more people coming in every single week. The number's growing slightly. Um, and again, I'm, the goal is just to try to give out as much information I can and also try to document as much as I can leading up to uh, the Olympics in 2022. So again, appreciate the support and we'll be back at it tomorrow.